It's not long till the final. Hey, how's the training going? Hmm? What's so wrong? I can't believe this has happened. But Captain, I wanted to keep playing with you. <laughs> right up to the very end. <laughs> so did I. It's frustrating. After all we've been through. Yeah, you're right. Arion, it's up to you now. Make your... Make our dream come true. Football can be like it was, the way we want to play it. We can get things back to how they used to be. Right. I'll do it, Captain. Chapter 12. The Future of Football. Hi guys. Hey Arian. You went to see Rick, right? How is he? He said his leg is still really hurting. He looked kind of pale too. Oh, the poor bloke! I guess everyone's just as worried about the captain as I am. I mean, I am too. With the yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's tail of the toaster. We all get to share our thoughts on Ricardo Di Rigo right now in this early chat lock where we can talk to everybody about how they're feeling. It's just not fair on him not being able to play after getting us all the way to the final. Yeah, you know, it just doesn't feel the same without Rick around. This also means we can't use the brand new fighting spirit Griffin that we used in the previous episode anymore. As bad as I feel for him, there's no point moping around. It won't change anything. Uh, thanks, Victor. That's helpful. I wish we could have the captain's you also leadership for the final. Well, yeah, that's a point. That's our captain that's not going to be taking part in the final. He may not show it, but he was really looking forward to the final. Becoming top in the country was his dream since he was a kid. And then we move on to the main three over here. It's a crying shame what happened right before the final and all. Uh, I hope Rick's leg is okay. Us third years have got to work extra hard to make up for Rick's absence. The whole team needs our support right now. Oh, I know that, but I just feel so angry. I wanted us all to make this revolution happen together. I wish we could do something. I know how you feel, but his leg ain't just going to heal up by magic now, is it? I know Rick's injury came as a shock to us all, but we've got the final soon. We have to do our best for us and for him. That's right. I made a promise to get football back to normal, and I'm... I'm going to... make sure I keep it! Oh, Arion! Get those chins up! All of you! Absolutely. 
sorry for keeping you in the dark, Jude, but Fifth Sector had eyes everywhere. If I'd been spotted giving you info, it could have ruined everything. Even so, you could have said something. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. But from now on, just know that I'll do whatever I can to help Rhino. Fine. Well, in that case, I have a request for you. I want you to resume your position as coach. Right now. Seriously? We're changing coach again. But you're Rhino's coach now, Jude. It's all thanks to you that the team's got this far. I don't think it'd be a good idea to... I'm not letting you back out of this one. I did everything you asked of me. Now it's your turn to do what I ask. You're the coach Rymon really needs. I can see that better than anyone. And anyway, I'm Jude Sharp, genius playmaker. Are you really going to argue with what I think here? Well, if you're sure. All right. I'll take over as coach. Don't worry. I'll still work alongside you like before. But together, I think we can give this team everything it needs. Sounds like a plan. I'll be counting on you then. Jude, team, let's do this together. Yes, yes coach. coach! Well, now that's decided, I think there's something else we need to talk about. Let's have a meeting in the club room. What do you think it is, JP? Je sais pas. Sounds exciting. I mean, I wouldn't be too certain about that, JP. He has been investigating Fifth Sector for the past several chapters. The announcement could be, Fifth Sector have captured your families and are holding them hostage, and if you don't win the next match, then who knows what we'll do to them. But, no, the, the positive tones are clearly visible, and we need to head to the club room, which, of course... Still needs to be a warpable destination, but it's not. There is still an extra competition route in here, which now, if I do any more of, I won't be able to use Ricardo, unless I saved it for the post-game, naturally. But Mark, what's the deal? I've been to visit Ricardo. It's a real shame what happened, but we can't let this slow us down. Right! And that's what I need to talk to you about. Since your captain won't be taking part in the final, we need to appoint a new one. What? Ricardo and I talked about it, and he knows as well as I do it's what's best for the team. Rick said that. So with that in mind, are you all on board? Yes, yes coach. coach! Everyone, it's time to announce the new captain who will lead you to the final. Arian Sherwind. I know you'll do us proud. Huh? What? what? Oh, you mean that I'm... I'm captain? Me? Arian, you're supportive and you always encourage your teammates to play their best. You and Ricardo are very different. You won't be captain like he is, but you shouldn't try to be either. You'll be great as you are. He's right. You're the one who got us wanting to play football for real again. You're so determined and so passionate. You sparked off this whole revolution. You can do this. I know you can. Uh, are you sure? I don't see anyone complaining. Oh, all right then. I'll do it. Good stuff. In that case, let's get training. Everyone to the front pitch. Yes, coach! But will I really be able to lead the whole team? This should make things interesting. I don't doubt his ability to rally the team and help them reach new heights. He triggered the whole revolution. He doesn't shy away from how he feels. That honesty is what's brought the team this far. I know he'll be great. Of course, the two of you are alike in many ways, you know. You think so? Hmm. Well, anyway, I'd better be going. Right. Mark Evans and Arian Sherwood. I don't think I've ever met a bigger pair of football nuts. I think that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but we'll take it. And there we go, Arian Sherwin, the main protagonist of the game, is now our team captain. And I'm not sure if it's something you guys were expecting or not, because I was certainly surprised when I learned that the protagonist of Inazuma 11 Go was not captain, but then got so used to Ricardo that by the time this rolled around, it was a surprise again. But it does feel like the right decision. I liked having a main character that was not a captain for 11 chapters. It was a slightly different perspective. But now, we'll head to the front pitch and see if he needs to do coachy things. As I'm sure you all know, the final match is against Mount Olympus, a team coached by Alex Zabel himself. Calling the Olympus Eleven the perfect team wouldn't be an exaggeration. They don't have anything I'd call a weakness. No weaknesses at all? Oh no. What's more, their players' shooting ability is so remarkable that each and every one of them is an ace striker. No way! The whole team? So they could score a goal from anywhere on the pitch? That sounds about right! They didn't win the semi-final 16-0 after all! Yes, their attacks are outstanding, but that doesn't mean we can't get the upper hand. I say we focus on making sure we have a solid defence first. Agreed? Yes, coach. Right, here goes. Ah. Uh... Arian, what's wrong with you today? You need to pay more attention to what's going on around you. Mount Olympus could shoot at any moment. We need to be ready. Right, sorry. Arian's not playing too well. I wonder if the pressure's getting to him. He's not his usual free and easy self. Hey, Arian, pull yourself together. You're the captain now. Set an example for the others to follow. Uh, okay. Good work, everyone. Uh, it's no good. At this rate, the whole team is going to fall apart because of me. I'm sure Ricardo would have done a much better job. I know. I'll try going to the tower. I can get in some extra practice there, and the view might help me break out of this slump. Hmm. Ah, it's so beautiful up here. Hey. I can see the hospital from here. I wonder how the captain's doing. Wait, I'm captain now. But am I really cut out to be one? Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, are you? What? What's with the face? I hope you didn't forget your bro Hurley. From Okinawa, remember? We had some fun times. Yes, of course I remember. It's been a while. What are you doing here? I heard you were making a splash in Evans' new team, and I just got the urge to drop by and check out the big final. What do you think of Evans, then? He's got a real fire in his heart, just like I told you, right? He really does. But, Hurley, did you come all the way from Okinawa just to see my match? Sure did, man. I'm not a big fan of flying, but anything for a bro. By the way, is it true? Do they make you a captain? Yes, but I'm not sure if I'm right for the job. Whoa, hold up, man. What kind of attitude is that? Remember when we had a kick about down by the shore in Okinawa? It reminded me with football's kind of like the ocean, you know? The ball moves here and there like the waves, and then the match shifts back and forth like the tides. You gotta keep a close eye on all of it. And as captain, your heart's got to be as big as the ocean. You need room in there for your whole team, you know? I think I understand. Yeah, you do. Trust me, it'll be fine. You've played football on the beaches of Okinawa. There's no wave you can't handle. Thanks, Harley. I feel a bit better now. Well, that's good to hear. What do you say we have ourselves another kick about right here, right now? I'd love to. What do you reckon they're talking about up there? My money's on football. <laughs> oh, by the way, Darren, I have to thank you. I heard about the advice you gave JP. He only realised how you were after you left, you know. He was beating himself up about how he should have asked for an autograph. Get on, Will. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. Mark, 
I know you haven't been in the pro leagues for a while, but I plenty well can't wait to play you again. I've got a proper classy new move I've been dying to show you. You ain't gonna stand a chance this time. Ha, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>